Hey you right guys, Trophy Munchers Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 2 of The 100, season 6. Enjoyed the premiere, I think it was a good start into the season, I think it could have been done a little bit better. Like there were some things in there that didn't really make too much sense. Uh, I do know that two of the actors um, were kind of, I guess, a bit of a crossroads because they had roles in other shows. So one of them was killed off and then Kane obviously was put into cryo sleep or something so I, I think they're like saving him because they still want the character to be in the show but they didn't want to kill him off which it i don't know i'm happy that that wasn't his death because it would have been a very underwhelming death for kane who we've had for five seasons but at the same time it just it's a bit like oh, okay like they're, they're a shitty situation with that and yeah there's some things as well like towards the end that i thought could have been done a little bit better but overall i did enjoy the premiere and I'm excited to see what kind of new threats and stuff they bring into Season 6. I'm assuming this sun idea and the eclipse and that idea that makes you crazy and stuff isn't going to be the entire threat for Season 6. So we'll see what new stuff they introduce. Because we didn't see any of the new characters as well that they showed in the trailer. Um, I don't know the actor's name. I think it's like J.R. Bourne or something. But the, the dad from Team Wolf. I know he's in the show as well, so I'm excited to see what his character's like. But yeah, episode two, guys. Sorry, this one is also a couple of days late. I've uh, just been fairly busy <laughs> fairly busy at the moment, so I do apologise for that. But yeah, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe. If you want the uncut reaction to this episode and all the others for the 100, then a link to the Patreon page will be down below, which really does help support the channel as well. Also, next is Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. But for now, my friends, let's go. 236 years earlier? Okay. I'm down. Play hard to get. We both know you're obsessed with me. <laughs> that went well. He's like, couldn't give less of a fuck. Oh no, no, okay. He could. Why? I just like, could you get out of my shop, please? Really? How many feces have you catalogued today? 17. Still only. What is that? Feces? <laughs> How many feces have you catalogued today? You wanted to prove there's no gut. Too bad Nietzsche beat you to it when he said, Gott is tot. God is dead. Can I go now? What would you say if I told oh, you? going to be dead, though. Being here. In this... Oh, I say cryo slept for how many years? Miraculous place. Serious about Gabriel, kiddo. I feel like they're all going to start murdering each other. Oh! He's like, but I'm horny. You're all about to... Die. Looks like one of the jokes. What the hell was that? I don't know. They're gonna start murdering each other. What are you doing? Or is it just him? Yo! I mean, the geese didn't hold back. Weird how it's just him doing it, though. Like, I thought. Whatever's in the air, it affects people too. Why are the rest of us okay? I don't know, but according to this, it comes from the plants. If it's the air out there, then we'll stay in here. We <laughs> Whoa. Will it out. need to separate. I'll stay with Amari. Oh, this will be a, the part of the trailer where they all start to go like a bit insane. You don't really need airborne toxins to turn on your friends, do you, Clark? Can we stop this? This is already boring, the whole trying to turn on Clark. It's dumb. We've done it about four yeah. times. With the Mori. Get over it, man. Stare. I get being pissed at Clark, but <laughs> it's just like they're just doing these little digs there and it just makes no sense. <laughs> Jesus, she's a cyborg! <laughs> I mean, fair play. I think it just destroyed the ship, splits it off. Wow! How? Oh, like you've been, oh, you've gone through five seasons of shit and you stood at the door waiting for him. You killed my mother when you burnt the farm and forced us to march into a massacre. Yeah. Do you think you can do this without me? Yes, we, uh, just whatever. You are here find Raven. Ah. You didn't even notice. Yo, oh, God, I love it, dude. I cannot believe I'm doing this. About. Yeah, you are. Ah. Uh, it's funny, I'm like re-watching Banshee at the moment, right, just from that. Save the details. Watch Banshee if you haven't, I haven't, it's very good show. Good, we're in time. She hasn't thought yet. I'll put her back under. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Jackson can take another look at that wound in the morning. Well, it's not from the knife, it's from the bullet wounds that I took from saving Bellamy's life from those armed psychopaths you put back in the battle. Oh, pipe what down, the hell do you want from me, Murphy? <laughs> but no matter what I do, someone always does. It's true. Like, Clark is, is always put in an impossible I'm situation. The bad guy? Fine. I'll be the bad guy. Mark, I gotta get up there now. Hand me my key. Now! Fine, but I'm going with you. Did, me what was the point of the chains? They're inside him. What? Hey, 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 did you see them? Bella, stop so we can help you. <laughs> what the, the fuck? fuck? It's not here. Tell me, I don't think this is real. I feel it. Oh, bollocks. Bollocks! Guys, no, what are you doing? Ah, right. Yo! Lad. <laughs> we have no idea how to survive down here. No, we need to get out. Well, we can't really. Murphy! Son of a bitch! How did he get out? Oh my god. For fuck's sake. <gasps> you need to go back to the school and see if he left any weapons. And you need to open this down. I like how they're doing like the camera and stuff. Tell me why. Shut up. So I can think. Always following her. Master. The camera's so good. I said, shut up! Shut up! Don't you dare cry. A spy must carry out orders. Oh, this is cool, dude. Bring me here. I'm sorry. I can't. Oh my god, she knocked herself out. Take me back to the school. So we. <laughs> oh god. Maybe you haven't noticed. Fuck. Yo, Murphy, chill out, dude. Murphy! Murphy! Fuck, okay, I like this. The difference is, is that I regret it. Ooh. You only regret having lost. Yeah, I shouldn't have grabbed and killed everyone. Hello there, fellow hijackers. I'm guessing you're wondering where your men are. You can't leverage dead people. You can, if they don't know they're dead. <laughs> Yo. Or I kill the first hostage. One, two, three. Bad choice. <laughs> now for the youngin. One, two. Wait. No more waiting. Here's how this goes. Oh, I just got a light before. Let people out of the mess hall and move into the quarter outside. The Unless you can shrink yourself down to the size of a small child, put on the damn suit, and let's go meet your new wife. That's long enough. Minutes for everyone in the middle. Oh, I like this. I like what they're doing with this. Sh I thought the ship story would be so boring for a bit because it's just them like looking over the earth, but they've done a good job so far. I only say that because in previous seasons, it's always been like what's going on earth is always really interesting than in the ship. Not that it's been bad, it's just never been as good. My father saved us all. Wrong. I did that. Oh, shut up! Me, me. Look at yourselves. I made you all into one crew warriors. Yeah, great. Fighter cowards. I'm just going to fire them all. <laughs> Yo. Thank God, Abby spot on. Okay, now that's Better kind of a good, kind of a good scene to be fair. Her little smiles makes it like seem insane. Please. Please. Yeah, she's lost it. Yeah, this is. She's tripping. I was curious for a bit if no it would affect her or not. No, Lexa died because no. of a tragic no, character who's irrelevant. Now put it to your throat. <laughs> if you're gone, Yo. she can't die trying to save you. I 
do it for you. I'll show you what I would Oh my god, I'm almost going in. I don't know actually a mum, but. What fun as it would be to shoot you, Bellamy will hear it. Don't listen to him. Cut deep. Do it now. Hey, hey, Clark, 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 listen to me. You're speaking into a radio with the power off. <laughs> There's no indicator light. Murphy. Now, Clark, do it now. Okay. Murder! Now, since you're clearly only a threat to yourself and not to me, what do you say we save Bell before he kills both of us? <laughs> Murder! Got him, got him out of that one. Don't we don't know if we're going to do it, but it's still. That's a bullet hole. Bent the map hole. Do it now! That went well. Nice try. Take off the mask. Kaylee, push the damn button. Where are the <laughs> Tell us now! What a shit plan. Wait, what? Maddy! Oh, I didn't fucking think of Maddy. Murphy! Murphy! You say I put it down and we talk, okay? You know, he looks insane. What well, he is insane at the moment, but. Oh, Clark, what are you doing? Clark! It's not you do a fight scene, not like <laughs> in the start of the show, Shadow Hunters. Yo! I'd be shot up for two seconds. Come on, Clark. Throw the radio. Oh, come on, Clark. Here we go again. No, Murphy's fine. If you try to kill me now. You know, fair play with Bob's acting this episode. Or this scene you play with. Does anyone know? I don't know if I've missed something, but why it isn't affecting Murphy. I might have missed something there. Like, Murphy's completely normal. Knock him out! Oh, he's gonna do it to all of them. Haha! <laughs> you know, that's sick, dude. That's sick. That was such a sick scene. According to the flight recorder, this is close to where they landed. Spread out. They find their trail. I'm already on the ground, fat play. Now walk. Please. Just kill a man. Waste of time bringing her along. Stop! It's a radiation shield. Your people couldn't pass through. Surprised she actually warned her of that. I'm surprised she's helping him. She killed her entire family. Like, why would she help them willingly? Dude, that sucks. That's like her fifth boyfriend to die in the show or something. Definitely the fifth person she cares about. He's like, for whatever. What the hell is she doing here? What if they remember what they did? Come. Oh, better make. Mom, what is this? Yo. I don't know. Was it because he's in the water? Maybe the water? I don't know. Yeah, yeah they all come. They were probably in some bunker or something now they're like. It's okay, Rose. Don't be afraid. Rose? We are a peaceful people. Are you here to take us home? Uh, this ain't your home. Isn't this your home? That's twice I've ended on clock saying a one-liner. Okay, there we go, guys. That is episode two of the 100 season six. Way better than the premiere. Really, really enjoyed that episode. I think pr pretty much everything about the episode worked so well. Um, 
there's, sure, there's a few little scenes in there and a couple of things that are a bit here, but overall I think both stories on the uh, the planet or the moon, I guess. Is, is, is it moon? I don't really know. Um, that story was fantastic, and then even on the ship, it was pretty much just as good. Uh, we had Octavia kind of going a bit insane about everything, which, again, I... I feel I need to reiterate it. It's not that I don't like what they're doing with Octavia as a character. It's just that me personally doesn't like her like as a character at the moment. Um, but acting wise and all that stuff is amazing, obviously. And Bob Bob Morley who plays uh, Bellamy. He was fantastic this episode as well. But uh, Octavia was really good as well. Blanking on the actress's name, even though I do definitely know it. It's like Maria or something. Uh, she was she was really really good, but. Yeah, I, I didn't even write down a neg like a major negative with the episode. I think the first basically five minutes into the episode where they were talking about um, Sanctum, I believe, like, and then him going around killing everyone, saying that it's his and stuff, killing his family. It shows that basically they'll kill anyone. Um, what's going on here? I don't even know. So I thought that was a really good introduction into the kind of idea of what the Eclipse can do instead of just being told it and then we saw that so we know how dangerous it, dangerous it actually is so we're like yeah definitely lock themselves up so that's what they did then they all unlock themselves anyway <laughs> so it's a bit pointless uh and then i love what the camera was doing to the characters when you know they were going to be insane and losing their mind the only thing i'm a bit unsure on i, I don't know if uh, someone can clarify it and let me know because maybe i missed something in the dialogue but, but the fact that murphy was completely fine like the air didn't affect him in any way or it didn't seem to, at least, anyway. Like, there was a second where I was like, oh, he's going, he's losing it, but then he just took the guns to make sure they didn't get it because he knew they'd go insane, so not too sure on that. It's not like a negative, it's just I think I personally missed something there. Um, I'm sure someone might tell me. Uh, the ship being invaded by these people, it's not something that we've never seen before in the 100, but it was done really well, and I'd rather something like that happen than they just sit about and you know, travel to the moon at some point. So I like that they brought the character back who was in cryosleep, who's pregnant, I don't know her name, uh, but she, she was really good this episode, she came up with a plan, and then Maddie coming out of the vent and <laughs> shooting them, really really good stuff. Uh, and even on the ship, like I said, what they were doing with Octavia, even though I don't love her, I do like that she was kind of going to be insane with the smiling while she's being uh, beaten and stuff, it's like she wants to die, because she knows what she'd done, has done in the past is... Not too great. <laughs> um, like I said, even in season five, I, there were some choices that she made that I did agree with. It was just when she fucks up, she fucks up, and maybe she's starting to really realise that as well. Um, she knows that everyone's kind of against her, like Bellamy. Uh, the toxins infecting everyone, I think it's a great idea. I don't know how they're going to keep that interesting throughout the entire 16, I'm going to assume, 16 episodes of the season. So I'm sure they're going to definitely come up with new different villain ideas and still have the Eclipse be there, but there, there will be more, and I'm excited to see what that is, because you can't... I mean, maybe they can, but you can't really make this Eclipse idea uh, last 16 episodes and it still be interesting throughout the entirety. We shall see. Uh, and then the one scene where Bellamy was basically going after Murphy and Clark, I thought that scene was done really, really well. And like when Clark just stabbed Bellamy in the leg and then he was trying to drown him and stuff. And like I said, the acting was fantastic. So pretty much there wasn't... There was a couple of moments that I thought were a little bit slow, but as an episode as a whole, I thought it was so well done. Very, very surprised that it's kind of this interesting this early on already. But then I'm like, it's the 100. It's always kind of done that. Um, huge, huge step up from the premiere. Even though the premiere wasn't bad. The premiere definitely was not bad. I thought it was like a good, good episode. But this one, I'd say, was great. Um, yeah, I'm feeling giving it a... Hmm, maybe a 8.2 out of 10. I think 8.2 for now. Um, I'm excited to see what happens. I'm just excited to see what happens because I have no clue what they can really do. I feel like we've seen... Basically, everyone, they, everything they showed in the trailer, I think we've seen now, apart from J.R. Bourne's character... Uh, who's from Team Wolf. I know he's going to be like a leader of some type. Uh, he's the only character that we haven't seen so far that's from the trailer. I think. I'm sure there's some other stuff in the trailer that we haven't seen yet, but yeah. I mean, enjoy I'm enjoying it. I'm invested. Again, <laughs> the 100 always manages to do this. I'm always like, at the start of the season, I was like, 
I'm always like, oh, hopefully they don't kind of start to repeat themselves. And then they do this and I'm like, fuck, they've got me again. <laughs> but yeah, there we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. If you want the uncut reaction to this episode and the rest, I'll be coming out. Then link to the Patreon page will be down below as well as Twitter, Instagram and Discord. And I'll see you next week for episode three. Until then, peace.